Hello everyone, it's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten and guess what? Today is day two of Mother's Day week. Yes, yes. I think mothers should take a whole week to celebrate because we really are the salt of the earth. This is me celebrating mothers and celebrating myself. I'm celebrating mothers all over the world uh, because we are, we are very, very uh, special. We're very, very needed. And to make this world go round, women actually make the world go round. We are birthers of life. That's important. That's enough to be celebrated. So this is day two of um, Happy Mother's Day week. I want to wish you ladies the best. I am challenging you all to do nice things for yourself every single day this week. So this is Tuesday. Do something that you enjoy today something it doesn't matter what it is it could be i don't know going to to see a matinee i don't even know if movies are open during the day they schedule it so late look i'm a movie goer so i know uh but take yourself to see a movie or go get your favorite food or go go buy you some roses or just something nice um get you a big piece of chocolate cake look but i don't want to tempt you guys because i'm on my way to the gym right now and i am on a a sugar fast not totally but uh, I, I i have i had i'm gonna claim that i'm gonna speak it into existence i had a coca-cola problem i had to have one coca-cola a day not the cans or the bottles but the carbonated you know the ones that you get in the cup from the um fast food places like whataburger or mcdonald's i had to have one every day and i'm telling you even though i'm a person that works out it was it was working against my results so i was like you know you're gonna have to let that fructose because that fructose corn syrup is what's in there you're gonna have to let that go to to get the results that you want so i'm letting it go and i ain't gonna i'm not gonna lie it hasn't been easy um but i'm i'm still staying strong it's been like 30 days and i'm pushing for 60 days and then i'm pushing for 90 days and then hopefully after 90 days i'm home free um but I said all that because I don't want to tempt you guys if you're on a diet to go get that big fat piece of chocolate cake. I'm just saying. If you've been good though, it should be okay. It should, it should be okay if you've been good, you know, you want a, a sweet, you know, or find something else. You don't have to have chocolate cake. Go get you some, a fruit basket or something like that. But whatever it is that you like, that you enjoy, find some, first of all, find something to be grateful for before you do any of that find something that you're grateful for and then find something that you would like to you know to bring you pleasure during your mother's day week fruit basket uh wing dinner whatever girl just just do that uh whatever it is that makes you happy um so and also we all know may is mental health awareness month so it's extremely important to, uh, you know, learn how to, to really create self-care for ourselves. And, uh, and I say that because, you know, as mothers, we're constantly thinking about everybody around us, our children, our uh, husbands, our men, or what, whoever that's important to us, our family members, we're always thinking about what they need. But... We have to be careful with that because if it's not reciprocated, it will end up being empty, you know, by the end of the day or by the, when, whatever we decide after we've done what we've done, we're empty because nobody's pouring back into us in most cases, not all the time. So we have to remember to replenish ourselves and to self-care, you know, we have to love ourselves. We have to do self-care. We, we have to make sure our mental state of being is in a healthy way. If we're overwhelmed, we have to you know, talk about that. You know, we have to let people know, okay, this is getting a little too much. I love when I hear women, like if I'm talking to somebody, <coughs> excuse me, uh, if I'm talking to somebody and they say, you know, they say, well, you know, I told him or I told her I wasn't gonna be able to do it because I just got too much on my plate. I love to hear that. I love when we know, you know, where we are. When, when we're at our limits, we have to recognize that because we can get overwhelmed. And then guess what? When we break, we're broken. We're, you know, who's going to help us get back up? So remember to take care of yourselves. Remember to speak kindly to yourselves. Treat yourselves very well. 
this video is not about women learning how to be selfish no it's just about us recognizing that sometimes we need to replenish and recover even if that means if you've had a hard long day at work and you don't want to deal with nobody you don't have to deal with nobody go go to your room close your door and don't make yourself accessible to anyone and just take that mental break take a long bubble bath with a, a glass of wine or whatever you know your choice is of drink and just chill light you some candles and relax and just calm down off of all the stress and whatever you had to go through that day remember to take care of yourselves remember to enjoy life now um there's a lot of this is not gonna be long but there's a lot of us you know we've been taught that um you know that it's okay for us to sacrifice that it's okay to give all of ourselves because and and i think to a certain point it is but at you know at a certain point we have to like reel it back in and say whoa you know i'm doing a little bit too much and i need to think about myself sometimes that's all these video this mother's day week videos is about is me reminding women <laughs> and even myself to take a little bit for myself to save a little bit for myself a little bit of love and self-care and to recognize my limits understanding my mental health is important so i'm not going to let somebody overwhelm me or situations overwhelm me I, even if i have to take a step back then that's what i'll do and that's what i challenge women all over to do always you know recognize where your limits are because we all have limits don't let nobody take you past that because if you break then what who's going to be there for your children who's going to be there you know you got to think about that so you have to make sure you take care of you again every day this week i'm going to challenge you ladies to do something one thing first of all be grateful for one thing when you start your day secondly find one thing that day that you're going to do for yourself whether it be i'm going to do um a pedicure wednesday or i'm going to get my nails done thursday or I'm going to go to the hair salon Saturday, you know, or something. I don't care what it is. I'm going to go take a walk at the park alone and clear my head. Or I'm going to drive out to the beach. Whatever that is, do something nice for yourself. Love yourself. Take care of yourself because you are special and you are a powerful being. Don't let any man or any kid or anybody tell you anything different because... What I've been seeing lately on social media and around the world, <laughs> women are being devalued, especially black women. We are being devalued and told that we're not beautiful enough, we're not special enough, and we're average at best. I say time out for that. We need to show them what we working with and who we really are. And, and we can't do that without taking care of ourselves. So let's take care of ourselves. Let's make better, co you know, conscious decisions. And let's show the world what we are made of because we are really the salt of the earth and God has blessed the woman because we give life and we bring life to everything that we love. Take care of yourself. Remember, we only have a, a limited amount of time on this um, earth. Make sure you don't spend it suffering your whole life because God didn't put you here to suffer. I love you. Take care of yourselves. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.